Hey everybody, welcome to App 203, introducing our new managed service for Prometheus. My name is Lee Yanko. I'm a product manager within Google Cloud. I'm joined today by Bartosz Jakubski, senior DevOps engineer at OpenX. So today we're gonna talk about some challenges with Prometheus. We're gonna introduce Google Cloud and managed service for Prometheus, do a bit of a deep dive in the components of the system, talk about how it compares to cloud monitoring, and then OpenX is going to talk about their journey with managed service for Prometheus. So. Challenges with Prometheus. Prometheus is great. It works really well. There is a very good reason why it is the de facto standard for Kubernetes monitoring. Managing Prometheus for small deployments is pretty easy. Managing Prometheus at scale can be very hard. So first of all, Prometheus can be hard to scale horizontally. When you have a small cluster, you just put a couple gigs of RAM in the server and it just works. Your cluster gets a little larger. You have to scale up by throwing more RAM at the server. Eventually, your cluster gets so large that you have to shard by front-end application and back-end application, or by A through M and N through Z or something like that. Uh, somewhat interestingly for a cloud-native service, Prometheus doesn't have a particularly good horizontal scaling story. Prometheus can be hard to make global. So when you're small and you only have a few clusters, it's no big deal. You have a couple different data sources within Grafana. You swap between them, it works. Eventually, you might want to get a global view, so you federate. Eventually your Prometheus deployment grows even more. So you have multiple Federation servers. You might simplify it by switching to Thanos. So you have Thanos querying your Prometheus servers. And then you go hybrid or multi-cloud and you have Thanos querying Thanos querying your Prometheus servers. And then somebody on your team adds user ID or IP address as a label, cardinality explodes and the whole thing falls over. Which leads me to my third point. Managing Prometheus can be an ongoing operational burden and a thankless task. Your end customers do not care how good you are at managing monitoring infrastructure. They care how good you are at keeping your app up, of course, but the monitoring infrastructure part is really a thankless task. None of this is hard. It's just toil, it's work. It's 20 to 30 hours of somebody's time every week in perpetuity. Here's the thing. Google has been through this exact experience. 10 years ago, we also had a system for monitoring where we had local servers that federated into regional servers that federated into global servers. We built some new technology for ourselves to solve this problem for Google. And we're excited to share this next generation Prometheus compatible solution with you. So we're introducing Google Cloud Managed Service for Prometheus, a drop-in replacement for Prometheus and Thanos. This is the managed service for Prometheus ecosystem. Uh, I'm going to use this to frame a conversation about the different parts of the system and how they benefit you as a customer. So in the center sits Monarch. Monarch is Google's planet scale, time series, metric storage and retrieval database. Monarch is the same exact system that we use to monitor internal Google. So, you know, ads, search, networking, YouTube, Google Play, you name it, all use Monarch to make sure that their apps are up and running and stable. We have a separate instance of Monarch called Cloud Monarch. Cloud Monarch is the same instance that's used by cloud monitoring. And Managed Service for Prometheus shares some of these cloud monitoring APIs. And I'll get back to why that's super interesting in a second. On the left side, we have the collectors. So our collector is compatible anywhere that Prometheus runs because our collector is Prometheus. It's Prometheus plus a couple hundred lines of code that wrap things up in a proto and send it to Google. So we have two different types of collectors. So the self-managed collectors use your existing Prometheus operator configs to configure the scraping. Um, so you just copy paste those, switch out the binary and they just work. If you're in GKE, we also have managed collectors in which case Google will handle the scaling, the sharding, the deployment of these collectors and you configure the scraping using CRDs. On the query side, uh, because we have implemented PromQL, your existing Grafana dashboard is written in PromQL, just work. Your Prometheus alerts and alert manager configs just work. And your PromQL based tools, any PromQL based tool that you might find on the internet, any community curated dashboard, any random alert template you might want to use just works. And because we're using the same APIs and backend systems as cloud monitoring, your cloud monitoring metrics, your free metrics, your free BigQuery, your free Anthos, your free Istio, your free Dataflow, your free PubSub, whatever you use, those metrics will be accessible within Grafana using PromQL right alongside your Prometheus metrics, giving you a single pane of glass. And likewise, because we're using the same backend system, your Prometheus metrics will also be available within cloud monitoring. So you can use advanced features such as SLO alerting, cloud alerting, our dashboard builder, et cetera, 
with your Prometheus metrics in cloud monitoring. We built this to be as drop-in of a replacement as possible so that you can keep doing what you're doing and just outsource the hard part, the metric storage and retrieval part to us. Now let's do a bit of a deep dive of some of the components here. So let's talk about Monarch, the planet scale in memory time series database. It's the same tool we use to monitor internal Google. Monarch has over a trillion time series in RAM, 14 quadrillion points on disk, writes two and a half terabytes a second, processes 16 million queries per second. Whatever you can throw at us, we can handle, promise. Monarch is configured for two-year retention, uh, included for all metrics by default. And Monarch has regional storage with ad hoc global aggregations at query time. So if you say you want your data to live in Cloud Zone X, your data will live in Cloud Zone X. On the collection side, we're compatible anywhere Prometheus is deployed. There's two flavors, managed for GKE environments and self-hosted for other Kubernetes environments. This means that managed service for Prometheus is hybrid and multi-cloud compatible from the very beginning. Our collectors are open source, so you can see what's running within your clusters, of course, and there's no need to store any data locally. So you can use way less RAM to run these collectors than normal Prometheus. On the query side, we're fully PromQL compatible. So your existing Grafana dashboards just work. You can query your free GCP metrics alongside your Prometheus metrics, getting you a single pane of glass. And read permissions are enforced on groups of projects at query time. So this is really nice for customers that have uh, tenants of their own. So you can do something like send tenant one's metrics to project A, send tenant two's metrics to project B, and then you have uh, a separate permissions that has both project A and B included for your SRE teams to get a global view across all your tenants. On the alerting and recording rule side, we work with Prometheus Alert Manager out of the box. We work with PromQL based alerts and recording rules, anything you might have developed already out of the box. And we are compatible with Google Cloud's alerting as well. So as you can see here, we built an interactive query UI within Cloud Console. You can see this is working software. This is me querying Prometheus metrics, and you can see them returning to the screen. Um, we also have full Grafana compatibility. So you can see this is me uh, just changing the data source from local to foreign, and it just works. Nothing changes. Uh, so this is great for you as a customer, terrible for me as a presenter, because really nothing should change. When you swap from your local Prometheus to managed service for Prometheus as your data source, it should be exactly the same data, and that's what you're seeing right here. So let's do a brief comparison with cloud monitoring, because uh, we do now have two products within the same area. Um, so there are two products coming out around the same time. There's Google Cloud Managed Service for Prometheus, which is Google's recommended way to run Prometheus at scale. And there's cloud monitoring and the upcoming GKE workload metrics, which is Google's recommended way to monitor Kubernetes applications. So maybe another way to think of this might be, if you as a customer, if you're saying to yourself, you know what, I don't want to deal with any monitoring infrastructure whatsoever. I want Google to manage everything for me, and I want to get the best practices uh, of Google monitoring and Google SRE's philosophy built into my monitoring infrastructure, then cloud monitoring and GKE workload metrics is the product for you. If you're saying to yourself, you know what? I like Prometheus. I like the Prometheus ecosystem. I want to keep what I have already. I just want to outsource the hard part of metric storage and retrieval scaling. Then managed service for Prometheus is the product for you. Another way to think of this might be, how much do you want to be managed? So with managed service for Prometheus, you get scalable collections, global queries, and long-term retention included as a managed service, of course, with open source interfaces. Whereas with cloud monitoring and GK workload metrics, you also get alert management, dashboarding, and unified metrics, logs, and traces as managed services as well. Remember, because we're using the same backend and share a lot of the same APIs, swapping between these is pretty easy. So you're never locked into your decision. You can choose the best solution for you at any given time. We are in preview right now. We expect to be in general availability sometime early next year, but we would love to have you in preview. You can sign up at g.co slash cloud slash manage Prometheus. Once again, that's g.co slash cloud slash manage Prometheus. So I'm going to turn it over to Bartosz now to talk about OpenX's journey with managed service for Prometheus in preview. Hi, my name is Bartosz Jakubski, and I'm senior DevOps engineer at OpenX. OpenX is a global advertising exchange. Uh, we handle over 200 billion dynamic requests per day. In 2019, we've completed our move from on-premises servers to GCP. Before 
moving to cloud, we've had a custom monitoring solution, which is based on Graphite and use Grafana for visualization. We've used migration to GCP as an opportunity to update our monitoring stack to Prometheus-based solution. We're a global company, so our, moni our monitoring spans many GKA clusters in multiple GCP regions on three continents. And right now, we ingest over 350,000 samples per second. We do use cloud monitoring too, mainly for metrics from services managed by GCP. When it comes to Prometheus, we run what I'd call a pretty standard global Prometheus setup. We use Thanos for long-term storage of metrics and global view. We do use Grafana with about 100 dashboards right now. And majority of our alerting works on data from more than one GKA cluster. So it's usually quite global. And we store about two years of metrics right now. We really do like our stack. Grafana, Prometheus, and Thanos work well together in the cloud. Most importantly, it just works. But there are some issues. Running a full Thanos stack can be quite an involved process. You can see here a list of Thanos components that are running in our global observability cluster. You have to deploy, manage, and monitor all of them. In some cases, like with Thanos Store, you have to manually shard instances by time to ensure they won't run out of memory and performance will be adequate. Scaling, managing resource requirements, modifying sharding configuration is something we have to do regularly. Just keeping the lights on does require work. For example, Kubernetes upgrades may require modifications and manifests for our components. There's always some effort needed. We do have some performance issues. Some of them could be solved by modifying our setup, but again, it needs time and resources to do so. Due to large amount of components involved, our global alerting and monitoring is a bit more fragile than we'd like. Also for global setup, inter-cluster connectivity is required. It is another piece of cloud infrastructure that you have to set up and secure yourself. Also, more components and more involved setup means that more knowledge or more time is required to make changes or fix issues. Why we decided to use managed service for Prometheus in preview? First, as a company, we are always interested in reducing complexity and maintenance burden. One way to achieve that is by using managed services instead of rolling out and maintaining our own ones. Another reason is Prometheus query language compatibility. This is a big selling point for us. Complete migration to any other query language would require a major effort, and ability to run unmodified queries makes the move possible. Self-managed collector is just Prometheus. You just deploy it like you deploy your regular Prometheus. It can run alongside your Prometheus, and to do so, it only requires small changes in existing configuration. So we installed collectors in our production clusters, gathered some data, added data source to Grafana, and we got the same graph, basically. So it turns out that Grafana dashboards indeed do work. We do use more advanced PromQL queries in some places, and their compatibility is pretty good too. So what opportunities for OpenX managed service for Prometheus provides? This is a simplified diagram of components that we are running in our global monitoring stack. If we were to move to managed service for Prometheus, in transitioning period, when we'll still need access to our older data in cloud storage bucket, some co components can already be eliminated. Once we are fully migrated to managed service for Prometheus, most of the components will disappear, with only Prometheus collectors remaining. This reduction in complexity will get us some time back. We will no longer need to adjust storage volumes and resource requests 
there will be no need to modify sharding in tenant store instances. Fewer components means fewer incidents caused by problems in alerting and monitoring system. Last but not least, better integration with cloud monitoring would allow us to not only utilize cloud monitoring tools like SLO alerting, but would also simplify and streamline access to metric data. No more combining two query languages in single graph in Grafana to combine our application metrics with, for example, load balancer metrics. Thank you for letting me share my OpenX Prometheus story with you. Now, back to Lee. Thank you, Bartosz. Once again, we would love to have you for the preview. You can sign up at g.co slash cloud slash manage Prometheus. Uh, thank you for watching.